This video is a review of repeated partial differentiation. So in going from one dimension to a function of multiple dimensions, in one dimension we had f of x, and if we wanted to take the second derivative of f of x with respect to x, then we just took the derivative and then we took the derivative again. So it's like operating the derivative twice, follow whatever rules you need to, to use to take the derivative and do so twice which is the derivative of f prime, or what we sometimes call f double prime. All right, in multiple dimensions, like if you had a function of x, y, and z, we'd have the second derivative of f of x, y, z with respect to x. Note that we're going uh, from, the, uh, l from the alphabetic d to this kind of script squiggly d, going to partial derivatives, which is the applying the partial derivative operator twice to our function. Now that would be fine and we would just be done with our discussion, except there's one extra case that comes up in multiple dimensions that doesn't come up in a single dimension. And that's what we call mixed partial derivatives. In this case, I'm specifically going to discuss mixed second partial derivatives. So we could take the derivative with respect to y and then take the derivative with respect to x. That'd be so this type of nomenclature here, the operators go from right to left. So we first take the derivative with respect to y, and then we would take the derivative of the result with respect to x. Alternatively, we could, instead of doing uh, y first and then x, we might take the derivative with respect to x first and then the derivative with respect to y. But luckily for us, we don't have to worry about which one we take in which order because for functions of multiple variables, we have a theorem called the equality of mixed partial derivatives. So this means that no matter whether you differentiate with respect to y first and then x, or x first and then y, you're gonna get the same overall result once you're finished with the function. Okay, so let's do some examples here and see uh, these things working in practice. So second partial derivative with respect to x of sine of 2xyz, that's equal to, well, the first derivative for with respect to x by the chain rule will pull out a factor of 2yz, so there's that factor. The derivative of sine is cosine, so we got 2yz cosine 2xyz. And then to get the second derivative, we need to take the derivative again of this first derivative. So we're gonna get from the chain rule another factor of two y z, which gives us a four y squared z squared. Then the derivative of cosine is going to be negative sine. So we have a final result of negative four y squared z squared sine two x y z. So we're just using our regular function rules and chain rule as if we would for a function of, of a single variable, treating all the other variables as constants during this process. All right, and then another example, second partial derivative with respect to z of 4x cubed, y cubed, z cubed. So by the polynomial rule, we have the derivative of z cubed would be 3z squared. So that 3 times this 4 gives us a 12 and then x cubed and y cubed are constants, so we pull those out, so there's our first derivative. Then we take the derivative again, derivative of z squared is two times z, so we get another factor of uh, two times 12, gives us 24, and then just a z left over, and once again, the x cubed and y cubed are going to be constant. All right, so one last example to show these mixed partial derivatives, what happens when you take uh, one and then the other. So let's say we have this type of function, x squared natural log of y. Okay, so first we're gonna take the derivative with respect to y because the, the derivatives go from right to left in terms of their acting order. So the derivative of log y is one over y, x squared is a constant, so we get x squared over y derivative with respect to x, uh, x squared is going to be 2x, 1 over y is a constant, so we get 2x over y. So what we should see is we should get the same result even if we reverse the order of the 
of the derivatives that we took. So let's first take the derivative with respect to x of x squared log y. So we're going to get the derivative of x squared is 2x, log y being a constant, 2x times log y. And then we have the derivative of, with respect to y of this, derivative of log y is 1 over y, 2x being a constant, and we get the same result that we had before, 2x over y, no matter if we took the first, whether we took the derivative with respect to y or with respect to x first, it didn't matter, we got the same result because these mixed partial derivatives are equal.